Okay, well, they had a request for a cooking video, but it's not going to be much of a cooking video, but it'll be a video about cooking. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do up a little, little chicken in the solar oven. <coughs> Usually I use bacon grease for that, but I don't have it. So, we got a sunny day. Well, it's Arizona, so I guess it's one. And we've got Foster Farms Fresh and Natural Chicken Thighs. $3.65 and, and worth. Now, big controversy. You're supposed to rinse these, wash these, soak them in bleach or whatever. But, just cooking them was good enough for my grandmother. And it's going to be good enough for me. So if you don't like it, don't have it. So that's the way it is. Oh, look at these babies. These are nice. So that's it. Put them in there paper towel, wipe my hands off, a toxic chicken. Now, this can be pretty simple, I don't know, a little garlic salt maybe. Don Bailey does a much more uh, flavorful recipes than I do, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe a little lemon pepper, I don't know, these probably don't even go together. Maybe some herb de Provence. All right, I don't know if you can see on there or not, but that's what you get. Okay, so. There it is. I'll close that up. I'll take you outside. Alright, here we go. So this is the solar oven. We've been preheating just a few minutes here. It's only up to 150. So we're going to put the chicken inside. Let's get pulled down there. We're going to close this up. It does have a couple of clips. It's it windy around. Right? Here. What I got is I've got this sitting on my video tripod. So I'm like working on the ground. So we got that there. And we can turn this and face the sun. There you go. So, uh, there are reflectors that go on this thing. I don't know if you can see me. There are reflectors that go on here, but I just don't think I'm going to need it. Um, sometimes the chicken works a little better without the reflectors. It'll get up to, oh, maybe 225 or so. And it's like a slow cooker. It's 1115 now. So this would be ready for dinner. Okay, so it's not a quick. If I want quick, I can put the solar on here. I'll watch the temperature. I may add the reflectors later in the day, but we'll see. I think for now, that's going to be good enough. Okay, well, we're going to see how it is. And I did add the reflectors. What's interesting is I cooked in Michigan without the reflectors, but you know what? The sun was higher then. The sun's getting low because we're getting... Uh, you know, later in the year. So I actually had to use the reflectors for this one. So let's see what we got. Take the, take this off. Got to work around the camera. Okay. Now 
already got the reflector. The reflector's off. Still 250 in there. Like I say, boy, you know, in, in Michigan I got more heat. Okay, this is this is the big reveal. Been cooking for three and a half hours. Whoa! Look at those babies, huh? They are boiling away in there. That is not looking too bad at all. That's looking pretty good. All right, we're gonna take that inside and serve it up. Even had the last of the ice for one more Manhattan. Okay, this on the right side. Now for the uh, the taste test here. Oh, it just falls apart. That's what I like about that solar oven. My gosh, it just keeps the chicken so tender. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, that meat just just completely just falls apart. Look at that. Mmm. Wow, hot. Mmm. Well, by request of Sandy and uh, inspiration by Don cooking video from Adventures with Jane. See you guys down the road.